possible sighting of the Danamora prison escapees has led authorities to a new search area this afternoon. Right now, police believe David Sweat and Richard Matt could be hiding out in a wooded area just miles from the prison. The local school district in the area is closed again as search efforts continue. The story, of course, is changing minute by minute as new tips continue to pour in. Lynn Falsetti is standing by live now with the very latest. Liz, where are you right now? And good afternoon. We are actually not in Danamora. We are in the town of Saranac. I'm on Route 3 right near Kringle Road. And as you can see behind me, this is where there's a little bit of a police presence. Now, this is where they are investigating another tip, another sighting. Uh, now, I do want to mention, though, that none of this has been confirmed. State police tell me that there have been many sightings so far. They are following up on each and every lead that they get. That does not mean that they are generally in this area. However, we are learning new information about the woman in question that may have played a role in Matt and Sweat's escape. The Clinton County District Attorney says Joyce Mitchell, an employee at the prison, did not provide power tools to the men, but did bring contraband into the prison. He would not specify what that contraband was. He also says that she could be facing multiple felony charges and, if convicted, could spend up to seven years in state prison. We are told by the DA there, there was an investigation into the relationship between Matt, one of the escaped inmates, and Mitchell several months ago, and measures were taken to separate them. Now, she is cooperating with the investigation at this point, but right now the main concern is getting them back behind bars before anyone is hurt. I'm most afraid of somebody in my community is going to get hurt. That's what I'm afraid of. Uh, these two uh, men are, uh, are murderers. They're convicted murderers. They've hurt people very badly. And um, I have no reason to believe that if they get into a situation that they feel, uh, you know, will harm their escape, that they'll take whatever action they need to take to, to get away from that situation. So that's what, that's what concerns me and concerns each of our local, state, and federal law enforcement officers. And you're getting another live look here on Kringle Road. Things are quieting down here significantly. Again, this is just one of many leads that police are going by to try and locate Matt and Sweat here. Uh, they have about a five square foot mile radius of wooded area that they are looking at just miles away from the prison where they escaped. Now, one frustrating thing the DA tells me uh, is that they can't be hit any harder. They can't be slapped with any harder penalties here because both are serving life sentences in prison. What they can do is once they are caught, revoke their privileges. Uh, he is hoping, however, that there will be some change in how prisoners are monitored so that this situation does not happen again in the New York prison uh, system. And we're going to stay here live and we're going to continue to bring you any new details once we learn more about this still developing story. For now, though, Ann, we are live in Saranac, Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News. Thank you very much, Lynn. We'll have another update from Lynn a little later in the show. And make sure you're with us all day long here on CBS 6. We have updates online, cbs6albany.com. Also, we're updating on Twitter, twitter.com slash cbs6albany. Our crews will be on the scene throughout the day and we'll have updates for you as they come in.